Hey there, this is Bill Pesco Salito, and I am coming to you today from my home in Frisco, Texas. And this is day three of my 30 day video challenge, so the third video. And today I want to talk to you about a, a daily method of operation, or a DMO, is what we call. And uh, actually, uh, someone had requested that I bring this up as a subject today. So based upon her request, uh, here you go. Uh, a lot of people, I think, in network marketing, you most people start off part-time, right? I think most people can only afford to start part-time. Um, so uh, they often ask and they often wonder, how do I structure my time? How do I structure my day? Uh, what kinds of things should I be really focusing on, uh, you know, putting at the forefront versus, you know, things I can put on the back burner? And I think if you were to look at, you know, if you were to prioritize what is most important, well, I think first and foremost, what you need to prioritize would be profit-producing activities, right? So what are profit-producing activities? Well, if you've got a primary business opportunity that you're looking to promote, profit-producing activities would be exposing people to your opportunity. So either uh, prospecting, calling leads, if you've got a system like My Lead System Pro, calling your leads. Uh, if, you, if you're doing meetings uh, you know, at a restaurant or home meetings or whatever, uh, doing these meetings would be profit-producing activities. Uh, again, exposing people to your opportunity. Uh, sending someone a presentation, if you've spoken to someone and they're open to hearing a bit more about your opportunity, sending them your company presentation would be considered a profit-producing activity. So these really would be the things that you'd want to prioritize. Now, if you're full-time doing this, I would say that you should speak to 15 to 20 people a day. That should be your goal, to expose 15 to 20 people a day to your opportunity. If you're part-time, it's more like 5 to 10 people per day. But what you really need to do is carve out time. So whether you think that would take you 30 minutes or if that's going to take you an hour or however long you think that's going to take you, I would carve out time and actually make an appointment for yourself, right? Make an appointment with yourself, right? So just like you would go, you'd set an appointment, you know, to go see the doctor. It's next Tuesday at two o'clock, right? You're going to set that appointment, put it in your calendar, and you're going to drive the doctor's office for your appointment. Do the same thing for yourself in regards to your, your prospecting, right? You're, you're, you're exposing people. Set it up so that it's every night from seven to eight o'clock if you're part-time or, you know, six to six thirty or whatever it is. Now I, would, now, I would put an emphasis on this. I would prioritize this. You know, another thing that I would do as far as your, your DMO would be to carve out some time, 30 minutes, for mindset. Right? I think a lot of people underestimate the importance of mindset training. Um, and this could be a lot of different things. Um, you know, improve, self-improvement, mindset, just reading different industry books. I mean, you, you know the books that are out there um, that, that are good to read. Uh, if you don't ask, you know, there's a, a dozens and dozens and hundreds and hundreds of really, really good, powerful books that you could be reading right now. They're going to help you in developing you, right? Making you a better marketer, a, a better business person, uh, just someone who is uh, just more aggressive, uh, more well-rounded, uh, more assertive, more positive. Um, you know, mindset, it's huge. So, but don't, don't dwell on this all day long, right? Don't get into this, this, you know, habit of, okay, I'm just going to hide within all the books. I'm just going to read, 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 read. And I'm gonna, and thinking that that'll then automatically make my business grow. If I read this book, my business will grow, right? Well, no, you still have to take time for the profit producing activities. So 30 minutes uh, mindset. I would take another 30 minutes to an hour based upon where you are right now on learn some marketing skills, right? What marketing method do you want to become a master at? How do you envision growing your business from a marketing standpoint? You've got to allocate time towards learning and mastering the skill of whatever marketing method you're going to take on. So I'd say 30 minutes to 45 minutes, you know, maybe an hour of that every single day. And I would, uh, you know, then again, I would prioritize that. Um, I would also maybe do some content. 10, 15, 20 minutes to produce content, like a video, like this, for example. It's not taking me very much time at all. Um, I'm getting this done. I'm getting it out of the way. Now I can go on a little, I'm going to go for a run after this. I'm going to come back and I'm going to call leads, right? That's going to be my day. So start to structure your day based upon the amount of time that you have to allocate to this. 
and you know divide it up into components. Some time for mindset, some time for uh, marketing training, uh, some time to produce uh, a piece of content, whether it's you know blog or if you're a Facebook marketer, allocate 10 minutes a day, three to four times a day, whoops, to do some Facebook marketing. Right? You don't have to spend hours and hours doing this stuff. Um, but what I would urge you, most importantly, when you're creating your daily method of operation, don't hide behind the training. Don't hide in the self-help books. Right? Don't hide behind all that stuff and think, oh, as long as I learn and learn and train and train and buy another course and you know, learn that course and then buy a second course and, and, and master that course, you've got to do the profit-producing activities. That's really the most important thing. You've got to talk to people. You've got to expose people to your opportunity. You've got to go for no. Right? It's, in, it's a numbers game. I'll do another video on, on the numbers game. I don't want to get you know, dwell on that here. Um, this is about your DMO, your daily method of operation. But at the end of the day, here's the thing. At the end of the day, you need to be able to look yourself in the mirror. Go into your bathroom, look yourself in the mirror, and say, based upon what I've done today, would I hire myself? Right? Look at yourself, kind of become a boss. Become your boss for a moment. Your own boss, but be your boss. But look at yourself very critically and analytically and say, based upon what I did today, would I hire myself? And if you can say yes to that question, honestly, and say, I would hire myself based upon what I did today, even if you only have an hour to do stuff, within that hour, did I maximize my time? Would I hire myself today? And if you can do that, if you can create that accountability um, and, and you know, be accountable to yourself, it's your responsibility, right? This is no longer your job. This is now your responsibility to grow your business. You've got to be accountable. And it's daily accountability. It's consistent. Don't do this for a week and then, you know, stop. Don't do it hot and heavy on and off like a week here and a day there and so forth. Manage your time. Do this daily. And, and be realistic with what you can do. Don't give yourself two hours worth of stuff if you only have an hour to, to grow your business. Right? Make this realistic for you. And make yourself accountable to yourself. Stick with your plan. Um, if you don't have a plan, if you have no accountability uh, resources within your company, if, you have, if your upline or your sponsor or, or your company's back office has no kind of accountability program um, or, or ways for you to have an accountability partner, well, we have that in our company. So reach out to me. You know, we can share that with you and, and share the opportunity that we have if that's something that you're looking for. Um, but if you need help with this, go to your leadership. Go to your upline. Ask them to help you with the accountability, with the DMO, uh, with, daily, with a daily routine that with consistent patterns of behavior, behavior, you'll be able to grow your business. So that's it for today. I hope this was useful and I will see you in the next video.